Chris, tell us what we're doing today here. Hey, we're gonna go swim with some alligators, man. We're gonna go swim with gators, let's get to it. Look at him, he's coming, he's, he's ready to eat. He also knows the difference between me and the food. You see, he's right here next to me. He can literally bite my head off, he's not. What is up everyone and welcome back to another episode. Guys, I'm headed down to the Everglades outpost today. It is a pretty gloomy day in South Florida. I don't know if you can see, I'll show you guys when we get there, but it is nasty and gray out, but that is not going to stop us. So we're headed down to the Everglades outpost. Now, the Everglades Outpost is a wildlife sanctuary here in South Florida. So they rescue all kinds of animals. They rescue wild animals that are injured. They rescue animals from the exotic pet trade that are not being taken care of right. So they do all kinds of incredible work. All right, guys, I'm here at the Everglades Outpost now, and I'm with wildlife biologist Chris Gillette. Chris, tell us what we're doing today here. Hey, we're going to go swim with some alligators, man. We're going to go swim with gators. Let's get to it. We are geared up, and we are ready to go swimming with some alligators. So if you see in here, the water is crystal clear and there's alligators in here let's see where casper is casper's the guy we're going to be swimming with oh what's up buddy so casper is a nuisance alligator chris how long has casper been here uh i have worked with him for 12 years uh -huh. how long has he been here because i worked him in another park too oh okay yeah i'm gonna say i think he's been here at least like i don't know five six five years, six something years. Like that. So he's been here at the outpost for about five, six years. He has a great temperament. Now, that doesn't mean he's tame by any means. He's still a wild animal. He will still bite you, but he tolerates humans very well. So all the alligators in here were nuisance alligators. So any alligator that is over four feet can actually be killed by the state, unfortunately. But there's amazing places like the Everglades Outpost where they take these nuisance alligators, they give them a forever home. They have giant 30,000 gallon ponds to swim around in. It is just absolutely incredible. I cannot wait to get in here with this guy. We are getting ready to go inside the big giant 30,000 gallon pond. We're gonna go swim with some alligators. Let's follow Chris right here. Woo, it's chilly. Wow, Chris, I'm not used to this water. <laughs> I'm used to the warm. I mean, we're in South Florida, but I'm used to that warm 80 degree water. You know, a lot of people ask us, do you guys cool the water? I'm like, no, nah, bro, it's just water. We literally do nothing to the temperature, but because it's under a shady tree, it is a little bit cool, mm -hmm. but it's basically just like a shaded swimming pool. Yeah. You know, so we don't alter the water temperature or anything like that. Yeah, it's a massive pond, but look at that. We got Casper. He's, he's the man himself. So again, I've worked with him for 12 years. He's very calm, he's very relaxed and I have also trained him. So notice right now, he doesn't care. He hasn't done anything. He hasn't reacted to our presence. I'm talking right now. But if I ask him to come here, come here. You see how he immediately turns around? Oh, oh wow, that's so cool. Come here. So he's very well trained. Alligators are really intelligent animals. People think that they're like just some dumb reptile. But as you can see, he'll come right up to me. Come here, buddy. And so uh, he's very, very intelligent, very well trained. Oh, what's, wow, that's so cool. What's going on, big man? What is up, Casper? <laughs> coming so, to say hi? Just coming to chill, hang out. And uh, he'll literally just hang out, you know? You see, he's calm, he's relaxed. Yeah. Guys, this is so cool. We got Casper right here, and he's just hanging out. Let's go underwater right now so we can see him.
so cool. This is incredible, guys. A little bit out of breath, guys, but if you want to come here, you want to swim with an alligator, I'm going to have Chris's email down below. It is so cool, guys. You really want to do this. If you're in the South Florida area, you definitely want to come out and hang with Casper. So cool. He's got to be what, around nine feet? Yeah, he's uh, a little over nine. He's still under 10. So that's how you usually cool. say he's nine to 10 feet. You know, he's probably about two to 250 pounds. Big boy. Yeah. So we are actually going to do some name training right now with Casper. So Chris actually has a little biscuit for him. It's a crocodile biscuit. Yes, alligators do eat crocodile biscuits. So we're going to go do that right now. We're going to do some name training with him. So if you guys notice, we're sitting here talking, we're having a conversation. He's not coming to the sound of my voice. He's not coming because he sees us. He literally knows specific words and he comes to those specific words. Like you can see him right now, just chilling, hanging out. I'm talking, he's not doing anything. And then if I say his name, if I call him by his name, Casper, come here, buddy. Casper. Look at him, he's coming over. Casper. Bro, look at him, he's coming, he's, he's ready to eat. Come here, big guy. Wow, this is absolutely incredible. Like Chris was saying, everyone thinks that these animals are dumb, but that is far from the truth. Casper, They're... come here. Now, he also knows the difference between me and the food. You see, he's right here next to me. He could literally bite my head off. He's not. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. Nails the food, has no interest in biting me. Now, it's also important to understand, though, that he is still a wild animal, so if you make a mistake, yes, he would bite you. Like, he's not going to attack me, but if I, like, accidentally did something stupid, he would definitely bite me. Mm -hmm. And check out those teeth. That is Look not... at those big teeth. You don't want that attached to you. No, you don't. And what's really cool about alligators is if you look at their eye when they go underwater, they have something called a nictating membrane. You see that right there? That little membrane acts as like a goggle. So when he goes underwater, that goes over his eye and he can see perfectly fine underwater. And these guys can actually be underwater for up to what, six hours at a time? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely incredible. This is so cool. So guys, if any of you want to swim with an alligator, you're visiting South Florida, you live in the South Florida area, I'm going to link Chris's email down below. You can send Chris an email. He does offer tours with photo packages where you can come and do exactly what I'm doing. You can swim with Casper. It is an incredible opportunity. You know, I always get messages from people. How can I do things like you? This is one opportunity that you can take and it's helping out the outpost. Yeah, come, uh, come join us guys. Take a swim with us. Come hang out with the alligators and we can get you some epic, epic photos too. Yeah guys, it is incredible. I highly recommend it. I mean, this is so cool. You're in the water with an apex predator. Not many people get to say that they get to do this. So cool. If you look at his back, that's like thick armor. Those scoots right there are just thick bone plates. So alligators in the wild, they get into fights with each other. It just happens over territory, over females. And these guys literally will lose limbs. They'll lose half their jaws and you'll see them out in the wild living just fine. They're you know, living dinosaurs. Just they're survivors, man. They're so tough. I mean, these bone plates are strong enough to stop a bullet. It's incredible. In fact, alligators and pythons, you know, they get into the mix with each other. Gators eat pythons, pythons eat gators. Now, if a python eats an alligator, they can digest the skull, arms, legs, ribs, all that stuff. But those large nuchal scutes at the neck right there, those ones actually will pass through the digestive system mm -hmm. because the bone is so dense. It's more dense than the rest of the skeletal structure it's because crazy. it's armor. Okay, guys, we are heading out from the outpost now. And wow, we had an incredible day. I just want to say, Chris, yeah, thank yeah. you so much for an awesome day. It was so much fun. So I want all of you guys, if you have not already, if you want to see alligators and other amazing wildlife, I want all of you guys to go subscribe to Chris's channel. It is linked down below and go follow him and his girlfriend on Instagram. They will be linked down below. They do some amazing animal work here in South Florida. And guys, if you have not already, and you enjoyed the video, please go give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought. And I want all of you guys to go, if you like my content and you're not subscribed already, I want all of you guys to go right down below, click the link and subscribe.